was no horribly one knows. cruel and so mean. You want me to speak from the heart? I am blackout. Taika Waititi? They didn't mean to sh on the couch. Debaucherous activities? Yeah. Sinful. I assume that you're gonna propose next year. I want you to look through each other's Instagram and pick your favorite photo. I already know yours. Compare and explain. This isn't fair because I haven't posted in a long time. No, but even if you've been posting, I know. I have it already. I'm ready to go. I'm so curious what you pick. I'm gonna pee while you're looking. <laughs> Pencils down! Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> I love that one. I would go to this photo before mm. we started dating. Anyone asked me, like, who are you seeing? I'd be like, oh my god, look at this guy. He's so cute and he has a puppy. <laughs> he loves dogs. I just think this photo is really funny. I love that photo. That's my favorite carpet dress I ever had. And there's And me. you're fixing it. Oh, oh shit. fuck. Full <laughs> shot. Both of you. Oh, Full shot. Full shot, babes. I'm drunk. All right, so here's the juicy question associated with it. If you don't want to answer it, half a shot. Okay. The tell class. Something shady you have witnessed a celebrity slash influencer do at an event you attended. Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. But everyone saw that. Oh. It's shady. It's something that, that was no one cruel knows. And so mean. I've got a funny one. So we went to the Lion King premiere. The Childish Gambino Beyonce yes. premiere. The live action remake, but it was all CGI. I went to the bathroom after the movie ended and I walked by and the look on his face of just pure, like, regret. <laughs> what? Know. That's funny. No, but we're never going to get invited to another Disney premiere <laughs> What if he was just having a bad day? Yeah, you bleep. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll bleep out his name. <laughs> it was so staring into the abyss. I don't think it was that. Oh, was, no. that, was that his first time, you think, seeing the movie? Most actors and people who work on the movie don't see it until they see it at the really? theater. Really? I thought it was incredible, personally. Literally, something happens at the end of the Thor movie that both the director and Chris Hemsworth were like, what? <gasps> what? Yeah. Taika Waititi? This didn't happen to me, but it happened to my friend. Speak Doesn't honest. count. I can't think of any, mostly because I can't remember. Let's kiss with our eyes open like Matt from The Bachelor. No. Don't act like you don't watch The Bachelor no. with me. <laughs> Cut that. No. <laughs> no. What kind of parent do you think the other person will be? I think I'm going to be the really lenient one and Cal's going to be the hard ass. I think it's going to be the exact opposite. <gasps> you think? Yeah. When we're talking about children that you birthed, yeah, maybe it's it'll going to be change. way different. Personally, we both come from very similar family backgrounds where our moms were the more strict ones and our dads were the more lenient ones, which I feel like more often than not is the dynamic. Based on the dogs, I always thought I'd be a more strict parent. Dogs are not comparable to I, children. And I agree, but it's not. the only taste I've had. And I'm like, why am I not mad that she pissed on the couch? I'm like, it's okay, I'll watch it. I want to be a unit. I want us to agree on whatever lessons we're teaching, and I want to both go in with the same amount of strictness. I mean, that'd be great. Yeah. That's super ideal. I just don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> you know what? You're a warrior. I am a warrior. What can the other person help you with? I'm so sorry. Can you repeat the yeah, question? Yeah. I'm spacing out right now. <laughs> I was like, thinking oh, about the burger I'm about to eat. <laughs> I would like to say being less in your own head. I said you overthink a lot, which is true. Mm, I think, man, this is hard. I'm so drunk right now. I want you to be less in your head because you being in your head and overthinking keeps you from things outside of that sometimes. And we literally had this conversation yesterday. I would love if you asked me more about things going on with me. So I don't have to like tell you. But we literally had that conversation yesterday. I want to be a better cook because that's a great skill. Like when I'm trying to help you cook, it's very much like go, go, go. And I have no idea what's happening. I'm yeah. just doing what you're telling me to do. And then you make it and I'm like, this is amazing. But what did you do? My sweet so angel here is slow in the kitchen. I am a slow, I am very slow. What did you do the other day that we were cooking? Then you stepped away because you cut yourself and I finished in a third of the time that you took. It, it was taking chicken off of the rotisserie. <laughs> 30 minutes to shred a chicken breast. A breast well, and a, a wing. wing. He got all the meat off the wing, I will say. Two but wings. Two wings. I cook for speed because I'm hungry and I wait a long time. But I definitely do need to slow down and I can teach you more in the kitchen and also just be more patient. But with the chicken.
music and you were like, I need fine small pieces. And I was like, okay, thin shredded that was small chicken. What it was. <laughs> I was being so patient though. I finished like doing two great. dishes by the time he shredded the breast, and I was like, you almost done, baby. Okay, I'm making mine a half. Sorry, everyone. Oh, they still taste like shots, but they're getting easier. But that's not a good thing. Once they taste like water, cut off, girly, cut off. I want you to make an assumption about the other person. I assume that you think I'm dramatic. Isn't that literally on your merch though? Shopramecruise.com, link down below. Nah. I know I'm dramatic, I know I'm dramatic, I know I'm dramatic. That's all facts, no printer. <laughs> <laughs> I assume. I assume you're never gonna touch those top dishes ever again. <gasps> no, Cal, it's not good. True, but not good. You're never going to be done adding things to the house. You assumed correctly. Literally. I assume that you love me. I assume that you're gonna propose next year. <laughs> How would you describe the other person to a stranger? Really good. She's question. Miss Remy Ashton, period. She's not a gamer. You want me to speak from the heart? I am blackout. I would describe Cal as really smart, driven, funny, but only once you get to know him. Because you're very guarded. You're good at everything. All sports. Not like cooking. Loot. You make a mean turkey burger. <laughs> and you're a good dog, dad. You are non judgmental. I meant that. What I would say, and I feel like this is, it's quick, but it's pretty spot on. If you meet Remy, you're instantly gonna wanna be like, this is my best friend. Oh. Cheers to that. How have you seen the other person grow and evolve across the past three years? I have seen your sense of style improve beyond what I could ever imagine. Like, look at this chain. That's all you. <laughs> Thank you. Truly. Now you have really nice cohesion between your style. Very like street style with like athleisure. I also think you've just become so much more confident in yourself and also most importantly in your work. You know your value in work now. You know what you're good at and I think that you know what you deserve. Honestly, I think it's the exact same for you. Really? You've, you've grown more into like what you know is your niche and your passion. Passion. Bottoms up, that's what the shot says. Cheers. <laughs> Rank the last sexual encounter you had with each other. <gasps> Scale one to 10. How good was it? It was a little awkward, wasn't it? I would rank it truly. How about the one before that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just that the most recent. The most recent was definitely. <laughs> most recent was an anomaly, okay? <laughs> it's a six. A six out of 10 is positive. Babes, G's don't get degrees. What would you rank it? One out of 10. I mean, <laughs> it's always at least a seven. <laughs> Let's just Also, say, you really said D's don't get degrees when we're talking about coitus. Coitus? <laughs> debauchery? Debauchery. Debaucherous activities? Yeah. Sinful. <laughs> now for the bonus, bonus lightning, lightning round. round. For the bonus lightning round, we are gonna answer the questions if we want to. If you could not be bothered to answer the question, you take a shot. Cal, that does not mean you take a shot for every question. Cal, what do you think about $20 smoothies from Erewhon? Stupid. $20, come on. Have you had one? Yes. Okay. They're good. Worth $20? <laughs> no! Brittany, what do you think about Cal's baguette obsession? <laughs> Is it possibly the whitest thing about him? <gasps> no! Whitest. There are so many whiter things about you. Like what? That you eat cottage cheese. Give me the specific date where I've eaten cottage cheese. Okay, I take it back. Wait, what was the question? What's the whitest thing about me? No. That's not baguettes. the question. I love baguettes, not as much as Cal, but the pillow baguette that Lauren gifted us is the best napping vessel I've ever tried in my life. So if that love of baguettes brought in this napping vessel, then I'm okay with it. We need to get a baguette scent cologne and <gasps> spray it all That's a us. good idea. A cologne. Oh. What age do you think you're gonna hang up your desert Year and not go to Coachella anymore. All right, you can't be bothered. He right? didn't love Coachella. His year will be 27 because he's currently 26. I am 27 and I would say 31. I think I could do it till I'm 30. Even 27 was a stretch for me. I was exhausted after. Do you think you'll ever go to couples therapy? We don't currently have an issue that needs to be worked out via couples therapy. But not against it. Open to all therapy. Yes. Totally. Are you okay? I'm drunk. Would you ever work with each other professionally? 
I would PA the shit out of a Food Network show. 100%. What is PAing the shit out of something mean? I'll take out all the trash, get you all the coffee you want. I'm gonna take a shot, but I'm still gonna answer. I appreciate that Cal and I do two separate things. The biggest thing I think with the content that I make is I wanna feel comfortable with whoever's around. And the person that I truly feel the most comfortable with in life is Cal. So as much as I'd love for him to help me produce, direct, film a video, we also need boundaries in our relationship and I believe that and respect that. So, no. I would not cross that line. What do you guys think about family channels? Oh. Could you see yourself having one? No. You don't want one? I don't think so. We had this talk about iPad babies too. iPads for sure are a problem for me, but like a camera, I don't know. Cause I, I know that's like your entire life. Maybe like spiced in here. I can't think of the word. Sprinkle, spice. sprinkle. Sprinkle. Sprinkled in here and there, but not like their lives. How I personally feel, channel wise, I wanna keep my channel as they are currently, even if yeah. there's a baby involved. I don't want my vlog channel to suddenly become the Parsons family. Like mm -hmm. I wanna still remain Rem life. What I'm doing in my daily life, Cal is obviously involved and he pops his head in from time to time. If I were to have a baby, the baby would pop its head in from time to time. I think I would still deal with, you know, motherhood and things and I would be open about that, but it wouldn't be all focused now suddenly on the baby or focused on our marriage or focused on our family. It would still be very much focused focused on me. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> Family channel! <laughs> We're gonna make a YouTube empire! <laughs> Do you like this pacifier? <laughs> Imagine you're talking to yourself from three years ago. What's one thing that has happened that that person would be shocked about? So we we're talking about like July 2019, right? And I'm pretty sure I was still really on the come up in my career in like the film industry. If you told me that I was gonna be in the gaming industry, I'd be like, what? I think it would be how solidified I feel in the content that I'm making. Because for seven years, up until the point when I started doing cooking full time, I felt very lost and I felt like every time I uploaded a video, it felt very, what's the word? Kind of like autopilot. Yeah, now I feel very much more are tied to what I'm creating and I never even knew I could feel this way. Before I met you, I was making myself <laughs> quesadillas. I don't even want to like say how many times I ordered an Uber Eats McFlurry just because I was sad. <laughs> you literally couldn't have segued us better. As I said, I found my purpose with cooking with Remy. One of the first episodes ever was Drunchies. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Which Drunchies are literally like what you crave when you're drunk. What's our favorite to order, Cal? McDonald's. But when I made the episode, I was not drunk. We decided to come out with Cooking with Remy Drunk Cheese Part 2, and we're gonna make things while we're drunk. And Cal, do you know what I put on the menu today? What did you put? Nachos. Nachos. A McFlurry. McFlurry. And a burger. Burgers. Oh! oh! I got you! I got her! Yo, video evidence right here. I held it in front of me. I thought you were doing just. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching our third annual Truth or Drink. We hope you enjoyed it. Do you have any sentiments for maybe the next episode? Sentiments for the next episode? Yeah. Of Cooking with Remy or of this next year? <laughs> okay. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> okay, bye.